welcome to today's video. I'm Mo, and thank you so much for checking out my channel. I have a few little things that I picked up from the MAC and Steve J and Yoni P collection. This cuteness. Um, I got a little bit of, little bit, a little bit. So I want to try them out because I haven't tried them out yet. And I did go on to the MAC site and majority of it all is still available. So if you see anything you like, you can still get it. Let me show you what I got and let's demo them. Okay, so I came in a little bit closer. See my face. <laughs> all right, so. I think this was what I was like most stoked about, but can we talk about this packaging? How adorable, I just can't. This is the eyeshadow times two. Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. And this one is the Touch Me Babe. Look at this, look at this adorable packaging. I can't handle it. <laughs> they have two of them. One that's a little more nighttime appropriate, and then this one that I feel that I'm gonna wear all the time because it's got a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of pink, and just like a little warmer shade. So we have Keep On Twinkling and then Soba. Next thing I got is a blush, and this one is in Peony Petal. They also had two of these. I went with the one that I felt would look best on my skin tone. Issues. And I am gonna demo all of this stuff so you can see it in action and such. Um, and then I don't know. I've never used this before, but I love how it looks. It's the eye gloss. And the packaging is pretty cool. I don't see why not. It's got the little eye, and it's like a little. It has a little shimmer, a little iridescence to it. I wasn't able to pick up a scent, which is good, right? And then I got one of the lipsticks. Ooh, I got Spotlight Me. Look at this packaging. Are you kidding me? So gorgeous. I got that shade. And then I got a brush. I really, really honestly think this is just like for collector's purpose. It doesn't look like it'll work like the normal 217. This is a 217 SE. I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel like your normal 217, but this is what it looks like. I'm, I'm gonna try it out, but it, I can just tell you right off the bat, it doesn't even feel like the normal 270. I got the Zoom Black Mascara, which is a favorite. I feel like every time this comes out in limited edition packaging, I get it because the mascara formula itself is amazing. I personally like using it on my lower lash line. But All right, I'm dying to swatch these and try them on my face, so let's do it. So here are the shadows, and here is the lipstick. I don't know how that brown is going to look on me, but... We're gonna give it a try. So I'm all prepped and primed and ready to roll. I am going to start with this brown shade here and I'm gonna use this very interesting brush. Okay. This brush is, like I said, I'm gonna stick to what I said and I feel like this is definitely more so a collector's brush. Shouldn't be using this. But I mean, it gets the job done. It just does not feel like the normal 217. I don't know what that SE means. If any of you do, please tell me. So I'm just using it in transition area, crease area, and outer V. I do have on mascara. I was just testing out this new Givenchy. Mascara. Hold on guys, I gotta show you this because you definitely have to check this video out. What? How cool, right? Okay, so yeah, that's why I have mascara on. Let me continue. Does this even show off very subtly, which I like. into the crease area if you're my skin tone absolutely will look stunning on someone later but okay I'm gonna go into the sparkly pink shade and I'm actually going to use my finger 
because I want a little more concentration of color versus the brush I feel would kind of like diffuse it. So I'm going to just dab that on the lid. I'm pretty sure it's not going to come off pink on me. It's probably going to be like just shiny iridescence. Mm, but it's pretty. See, I like little quads like this. Simple, yet yeah, you look, you know, like you tried, kind of tried to put yourself together, which I kind of need to do today. Pretty. I'm gonna go back into my brush and kind of just blend out those edges. This is like the simpler look, totally daytime appropriate. And yes, it's glitter, but it's not bad glitter. Okay. <laughs> so now let's try the blush. Where are you? Here. So now I'm going to try the blush in Peony Petal. Here's like a heavy finger swatch. This is a Wayne Goss number 11. Try this blush out. Try the lipstick. What's the formula on this? This is an amplified cream lipstick if you are curious. And again, the shade is Spotlight Me. I don't know. I'm kinda, after I swatch the color, I don't know how it's going to look on me. But let's find out. It's like a nudie peachy pink. And because I'm so tan, I don't know. Okay, so here is the lipstick on me. I definitely think I need a pencil. I'm not comfortable wearing this lipstick like this. Uh, I have MAC stripped down. Let me see if that helps a little bit. bit better okay so tried out some of the products on my face I really love this eyeshadow so the only two products that I didn't try out on my face was the eye gloss and the mascara just because I already had on mascara but anywho let me know what you guys think about the collection let me know if you got anything thank you guys so much for letting me share this with you see you beautiful I'll see you soon